Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you what is in my travel makeup bag. So to just start off, I will just tell you guys my makeup bag is, well it looks like this. It's from Vera Bradley and I believe it's their like large sized cosmetics bag. And what I love about this one is the size is great. It's big enough that I can fit basically whatever I want into it. Just to let you guys know, it is big enough to fit a Coastal Sense 88 eyeshadow palette, so just for reference, that's how big it is. It fits just perfectly. I didn't bring one for this trip, but just. Also, what I love about this is that the inside is lined with, you guys can see, this plastic material, which ensures that if something spills in this bag or if something breaks um, while I'm traveling that it won't be too big of a hassle to clean up I can just wipe up the inside with like a paper towel or something and it'll be clean so let me just show you guys inside um, I have my makeup divided into these little baggies of products and basically I've just separated them based on what portion of my face they're meant for so I have an eyeshadow bag, a mascara and eyeliner bag, a bag for face products and a bag for lip products so that's just kind of how um, I stay organized and so that I can just kind of keep track of everything. I'm going to start off with what is in my face products bag. It just looks like this. So I'm bringing two concealers. The first one is the Smashbox High Definition Concealer, and this is in the color light, if you guys are wondering. So I love this concealer. This is basically my color right now. I might be a little bit tanner than this is, but I can still get away with using this. I love that. And then the next concealer I'm bringing is this one. It's the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer, and this is in the color 7. I also really love this concealer, but right now it is a little bit dark for my skin, so I was thinking that when I go on vacation, if I get a little bit tanner, this will fit me a little bit better than this one does, so that's why I'm bringing both. Next I'm bringing two setting powders. The first one is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. Mine is in medium plus. And basically, this is just a light coverage powder. Um, that's what it looks like. And I love this for setting my makeup. The second powder that I'm bringing just looks like this. This is the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. And mine is in the color beige medium 2 to 2.5. And that's what this one looks like. And lastly for face, even though I think on a daily basis the most face makeup I will be wearing is concealer and powder, I am bringing a light coverage, con uh, this is not a concealer, this is a foundation with me, and this is the CoverGirl Nature Lux Foundation in 320. And I love this foundation because it gives me a really nice coverage, I love the silky texture of it. But it's not heavy at all, and um, I think it's just a perfect summer foundation if you want to wear foundation. Now moving on to eyeshadows that I'm bringing. First of all, this is probably very obvious. Everyone has this palette, and everyone seems to bring it when they travel. This is the Urban Decay Original Naked Palette, the Naked One Palette. It just looks like this. There are 12 neutral eyeshadows in here. They're so pigmented, so nice. I love this palette, and I will definitely be using this a lot on my trip. And then as for eyeshadows that aren't in that palette form, I'm bringing a few single eyeshadows. This one is also Urban Decay. It is in the color Suspect. And it is just a medium toned brown that is shimmery and kind of more cool toned than any of the colors in the Naked palette are. I'm also bringing NYX's Frosted Lilac Single Eyeshadow, and it looks like this. It's just a light purple shimmery color. The next eyeshadow I'm bringing is from MAC, and it is in the color Vainglorious. 
and it is basically just a reddish, purplish, dark cranberry color. This next color is super popular. It is Max Satin Taupe Eyeshadow. It just looks like this. It's a plummy brown shimmery color. It's beautiful. The last single eyeshadow that I'm bringing is actually a cream shadow from MAC, and this is the Virgin Silver Metal X Cream Shadow. I actually just showed this in my last video, which was a haul, um, and I hauled this. It's just a shimmery, champagne -y silver color, and I love putting this on my inner corners for a little bit of a highlight. And then I'm bringing one paint pot from MAC, and this is in... Paint Turley. It just looks like this. And this is just an eyeshadow base that is in my skin tone, and I love using it under eyeshadows. The last thing I'm bringing that has to do with eyeshadows is my primer, and this is the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base, and it just looks like this. This works really well for me. It works better for me than Urban Decay Primer Potion does. Um, I actually tested it. I put this on this eye, I believe, and then Urban Decay Primer Potion on this eye, and my eyeshadows on this eye um, stayed a lot longer, and they creased um, a lot less. So, love this. As for eye products that aren't eyeshadows, so mascara, eyeliner, this is my little bag for it. I'm bringing three mascaras. The first one is my all-time favorite. I just, I love this stuff. It's CoverGirl's Lash Blast Waterproof Volume Mascara. Um, I'm sure you guys have all seen this, but I just love this. It's amazing for my lashes. The second mascara I'm bringing is the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes, and then this is also waterproof. I really like that. And then the last mascara I'm bringing is actually a travel size or a mini size of the, what is this called? Urban Decay Super Curl Curling Mascara. Just looks like this. I wish you guys the wand. So it has like a curled wand and I love this. Because um, even though it's not waterproof, it curls my lashes amazing. It holds the curl for a really long time and... I just really like the way it makes my lashes look. I'm bringing three eyeliners to use on either my waterline or like my upper lash line or lower lash line. The first one is this, and this is the NYX Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and Definitely a Turn On Waterproof Extreme Shine Eyeliner. So it looks like this. It's a foresty green color. Oh, I forgot to say the color. It's in tropical green. So basically, it's like a greenish blue color. Next, I'm bringing my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil, and this is in Ransom, which is just a bright purple, and I love putting this on my lower lash line and waterline. The last eyeliner I'm bringing will probably be my most used, just because it's a simple color. It's a brown eyeliner. This is from Sephora in the color... I don't really know. It doesn't say the color, but it's brown. And I actually forgot to mention this product when I was talking about my eyeshadows, but I'm also bringing my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Yogurt, which is a champagne -y bronze color. Alright, my last bag contains my lip products, so let's get into these. The first thing I'm bringing is really simple. It's just my Soft Lips Vanilla Flavored Chapstick, and this has SPF 20, which will be really great. Next, I'm bringing my Smith Strawberry Lip Balm, which is just a moisturizing, kind of semi-tinted lip balm. And this stuff smells so good. It smells like the pink Starburst, and it just gives your lips a really nice um, moisturized look to them. The next lip product I'm bringing is a recent purchase, and this is the Revlon Just Fit In Kissable Balm Stain in Rendezvous, which is a corally orange color, and it just looks like a fat crayon. You just swipe it over your lips, and it gives you a nice sheer pop of color to your lips. 
Next I'm bringing the Revlon Lip Butter in color 4D Red Velvet, which is a dark reddish maroon color and it looks really scary but if you apply it and then kind of shear it out with your fingers it just gives you a kind of berry tint and I'm actually wearing that on my lips right now so it's not that scary but I love this I'm bringing a MAC lipstick in Plumful which is kind of similar to the Revlon lip butter but it's more purpley um, it's a just a beautiful plummy berry color. And then I'm bringing two MAC lip glosses. The first one is the Viva Glam Gaga lip gloss. It's just the bubblegum bright pink and I love this lip gloss so much. It's so pretty. And then I'm also bringing the plush glass in Posh It Up. This is a beautiful pinky purple with tons of golden shimmer throughout. And then lastly in my makeup bag is of course makeup remover wipes. These are the ones from Neutrogena and I just have always used these and I really like them. So that is all that is in my travel makeup bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe, rate this video, and please feel free to leave any comments in the section below for that. Um, with any requests or feedback, I would greatly appreciate that. And I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Bye!